Oh, good morning. I uh, slept in a little bit. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning already. I'm going to try and turn this light switch on. There we go. That worked. Um, welcome back to the Polish farm. Uh, last episode, we, uh, we were able to get the project tractor back home and we also got cows. So awful lot happened. Get some coffee here. I tell you, can't get going until I get my coffee. Mm, that's good stuff. Okay. Uh, I guess now that I went through all the trouble to turn these on, I have to turn them off too. Um, I'll meet you outside. I guess I didn't turn the light on last night. Okay, so we have cows now. Uh, so let's go visit them, see how they're doing. Exciting times. So there's our straw registering. We have so little in here, but hopefully it's enough to allow them to produce manure. And then I think that's our feed, which is also so little that it's probably enough, though, to keep them alive. And we can turn the light on in our cow barn. That's nice. All right. It's uh, the end of October. It's a little brisk out. A little cool. Is there anything? That's weeds. I'm sure of it. Okay, yeah, we've got manure in our manure plate. Very little, but we have manure. And our cows are over here. So I have been thinking long and hard about expanding the farm. Uh, we have, well, we had 30,000 euros, which I think is some money. And I've been looking at this plot right here, this field that's just weeds uh, behind our neighbors right here. And I don't think they're farming. I think maybe we can uh, buy it from them. not too uneven no more severe of a slope than ours maybe even more gentle I think that might be a good thing to try and do see if we can we can acquire this land right here That and I think, yeah, I don't know, it's October. There's still some harvesting going on. Uh, so maybe if uh, I talk to Merrick, he might be able to hook me up with uh, somebody. Okay, so, I don't know, it's still 7.30 in the morning, it's still pretty early. I 
Beautiful country here. Wonderful map. Oh, hey. I I thought I saw that over there. My neighbor has a a T25 or a T30. I'll have to talk to him and see if uh He knows where I can get some parts. Well, get up. I'm going to pop inside and give Merrick a call, see if... Uh, He's got any ideas on some work for us. We'll try and make a little bit more money. And uh, we've got our project here that we can also work on, I guess. It's October, there's still some harvesting going on. Should probably take advantage of that before, before the snows come and everything. This is going to be fun. I think first we'll just need to try and get it, see if we can get it running. And then we're going to need to get, oh man, like lights, a hood. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. I'm going to go in the house, give Merrick a call. Let's see a little bit. So I talked to Merrick and he said, grab my trailer and meet him at his place. So we're going to do that. Not quite sure what he's got in mind, but he said bring the green trailer and meet him at his place. Where, where's my tractor? It's in here. this thing up hills though. I don't like leaving the doors open so I'm gonna close it. Close everything up here. Head up to Merrick's place and see what he's got in mind. I hope I don't have to try and pull this trailer full of anything anywhere, though. So I think I'm, I'm going to try going the back route to try and see if I can keep the inclines to a minimum. I'll see you when we get to Merrick's. All right, we're arriving at Merrick's here and see what he's got in mind for us. All right. 
right, so Merrick needs help with uh, with this field over here, harvesting soybeans. So you use this header trailer here, which apparently is making people stop, and the harvester right here as well. So, um, and he said we can use his tractor to pull our trailer. This thing does not have great turning radius. <laughs> a portrait wow this thing has not turned good at all I can see we're going to have to move this otherwise this is going to be a problem for traffic so let me take care of that. But we got quite the traffic jam going on here. Let's see if we can uh, <laughs> get these cars moving. Okay, that's better. I got, I got the traffic out of here. Uh, so we're going to get up here. This is a uh, Fortress E516. through again <laughs> giving us uh, opportunity to make some money which is much appreciated and again uh, coming through with some equipment that we can use that helps us get this done a little quicker this uh, combine's a little better than our old bison that we got from cousin Bartholomew's on his farm I'm not sure what the horsepower is on uh, Merrick's tractor. He likes the German stuff. Tractor is a portrait, his baler is a portrait, his trailer is a portrait, and I don't know if this is his combine or if it's uh, somebody else's. It seems like the neighbors on these private farms really kind of work together and share equipment. So one guy will have one thing and somebody else will have something else and then uh, they'll share it between them. I know that in the bad old days in Poland when it was under communism that the state-run farms really kind of got all the support and it was very difficult for the private privately owned run farms to even stay in business I think uh, a lot of the farms are real small the private farms you know sort of like that 40 acres 
which I have no idea what that is in hectares, or maybe it was 40 hectares, I don't know. Anyway, we are happy at the opportunity to make money. So that's what we're gonna do. short work of that it didn't even fill up the uh, grain tank on the harvester here all right so Merrick said we could use his tractor um, Thing. It's like a pickup header for a, um, like a forage harvester. Yeah, uh, Patrick across the street, her tractor, quiet compared to Merrick's. What's the deal with these portraits? They just don't have great turning radius, do they? Oh. Too close to the building. We can get this out of here. What about jackknifing it? I really need to learn how to maneuver these trailers better. I guess the only way to do it is by practicing, though. Excuse me. I'll get out of the way. All right. I don't know what the traffic pattern is for... Yeah, I'll just go here. Come on. I think this is going to PGR. Get it in the trailer here. Hope it's not too heavy. Kind of slow on the unload. 
Don't go if you're gonna go. Alright, we're taking this to PGR. I'm gonna try and get my speed up as best as I can here. We've only got 5,000 liters. Oh, yep, starting to lose our speed already. Come on. I'll see you over at PGR. We're ready to deliver this. Okay, we're having a PGR to deliver. Which side's it gonna come out? Ah, uh, this side. Soybeans. There's a favor for Merrick. It's rather than put my trailer in tight yard at Merrick's. I'm just going to drop it here in the field. Okay. All right. I'm going to head back home and got a couple of phone calls to make about that field next to my next to mine. So let me go get my trailer. And I'll head back home.
arriving back at our farmhouse now. And now I gotta struggle to try and back the trailer in. <laughs> well, this one seems to be worse than most. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, just made a land purchase, almost uh, 18,000 euros. I had to get the trailer put away finally. It took me a little bit of time though. Uh, so yeah, we bought it and worked out with the neighbors. They don't farm. So we actually uh, can use this area behind their building as well, all the way up to their Essentially, whatever the standoff is for the building, you know. Well, so, yeah, it looks like we have a greenhouse now. Probably a little late to try and do something in there unless it were heated. So, but maybe next spring, put put some vegetables in there, maybe some tomatoes or something. Um, yeah. So th this field's got medium-sized weeds in it, so I have to have a hoe to do that. I could try and spray them off, I guess, but I think you get a, a detriment from spay... Sp <laughs> you get a detriment from spraying herbicide. Um, so what I think, even though it's already cultivated, I think I might just cultivate it again run over it again with the cultivator and then I don't know we want to get a crop in here or just put in like a catch crop like uh, oilseed radish or maybe even put grass in it and then we could uh, get like maybe a, a hay cut off of it and then seed it with, a, with an arable crop after that after we got hay I don't know uh, but first things first, we need to cultivate it. So, you know, we'll grab the, uh, the Z-Tor. We do have a, a cultivator. We've never used it because we, we had to plow our field or our original field so this will be the first time using the cultivator with the with the detour as well I don't know how how well it'll pull it That's a little frightening, the uh, money looking like that.
I think this puts the weeds back to where they have to start over again. If it doesn't, then we've got a problem. Pretty sure it does. Okay. Getting a little too outside the field edge here. Wasn't sure what was weeds and what was the grass at the edge of the field. the bottom I'll take a look at the map and make sure this is doing what we hope it's doing I wonder if we can we'll have to go talk to Patrick about following her stone fort there's just a few stones in here Let me take a look at the map and make sure that the weeds are doing what we think they're doing. So bear with me a second. I think it did. I think it's taking them off. They may come back. They probably will come back, but because they're medium, even if we went over it with a mechanical weeder, it wouldn't work. This is all very exciting. It's happening very fast. We, uh, we've expanded the farm. We've got the dairy operation up and running again. And we've got a little more land to work.
But I think I got most of the stones off of the field. And uh, not only did Pat let us use her stone fork again, she also asked if maybe we could uh, do a soybean harvest for her. And she's already got the uh, combine to do it with, so we don't have to use the bison. It's a pretty good sized field too. And she'll even pay us a little bit. So gonna take this back over for her. And then figure out where we gotta go get the combine. It is getting late in the day. So I don't want to wait too much longer for getting started on the, that soybean harvest. Let me go check with Pat again about that. Looking at the time though. I don't think we're going to have time for it in this episode, so it'll be next time on the old bullish farm.